Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm Kathleen Walter. New calls for a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. The new Republican senator-elect from Utah, Mike Lee, is leading the effort even before he gets to Washington. Lee was a Tea Party favorite who kept the Utah seat for Republicans, a seat that Bob Bennett and his father held since 1951. Senator-elect Lee is an attorney who had served as a Supreme Court clerk. He joins us now via the phone. Welcome to Newsmax TV, sir. Thank you. It's good to be with you. One of your top priorities is an amendment to the Constitution to balance the budget. How soon would you like to see that happen? I'd like that, uh, to see that happen within a year. I'd like to see it happen by October of 2011 in particular. Uh, the, there's a big push right now. I'm, I'm happy to be part of an effort uh, with a group called Balanced Budget Amendment Now, and uh, we want to get that done. How much of the budget needs to be cut, and where do you see the cuts being made? Well, I, I think we're going to have to look at cuts in almost every department and program. You know, perhaps the most straightforward way of going about it would be to uh, look at the last year when our expenditures uh, roughly matched our present-day revenues. Uh, depending on what kind of revenue projections you look at for the coming fiscal years, that could take us back as far as, say, 2004 or something like that. If that's what we have to do to balance the budget, then I think we have to do that. Now, you've said that a government shutdown may be necessary to control spending, a move that hurt Republicans in the 90s and paved the way for Clinton's second term. Could it come to that? Well, look, we never take any option off the table. No one relishes the uh, possibility of a government shutdown. It, it serves as a, a great inconvenience to a lot of people. And at the same time, we can't use the threat of a possible government shutdown uh, uh, to bully members of Congress to, uh, for voting for a massive increase in our debt. And so uh, we're going to fight hard to do it. I think there are ways of avoiding a government shutdown through an automatic continuing resolution. Uh, but at the same time, we have to take into account the fact that an automatic continuing resolution, if it continues to spend at the current rate, that is an annual budget deficit approaching uh, $1.5 trillion. We can't afford to continue during, doing that in perpetuity. One of the issues to be settled in Congress is earmarks. Senator DeMint is pushing an across-the-board ban on earmarks. Do you support this move? I support it wholeheartedly. We need to ban earmarks. Um, we need a complete moratorium for at least a year or two while we get the process ironed out to guarantee uh, full openness and transparency such that each and every earmark request and each and every request to send money um, uh, through a, a, an appropriation to a specified state or community or business uh, needs to stand or fall on its own. And uh, I think Congress needs to go off the bottle uh, in order to put a reform measure like that in place. What about the Bush tax cuts? Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell says he is willing to work with President Obama on an extension of some kind for the wealthy. House GOP Whip Eric Cantor says only a permanent extension for all earners will do. Which approach do you favor? Well, look, I, I, I certainly favor making them permanent. Um, but, you know, uh, a, a glass half full is a glass is, is, is better than a, a glass that's completely empty. So uh, if all we can get for the time being is a temporary extension, then that's probably what we'll have to put up with. Uh, but I'm certainly going to fight for a permanent extension. You've also called for the repeal of the president's new health care law, but the GOP is looking into whether they would have a better shot at defunding it. Can we expect to see legislation defunding it or parts of it? Well, yes, because, look, even if we were able to succeed in a repeal, which I, w I would frankly like to see, uh, the president would almost certainly veto it, and we almost certainly wouldn't have the two-thirds supermajority vote necessary to override uh, the veto. And so I, I think we can and should expect to see legislation defunding it. The Senate already confirmed Obama's choice of two very liberal justices. With more conservative members joining the Senate, will it be more scrutinizing should another liberal judge or justice be submitted? Well, any time you add more conservatives to the mix, I think you're going to see additional scrutiny of any jurist that comes forward at any level. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I, I, I think you can expect to see more scrutiny. Senator-elect reports say the Senate GOP establishment, though welcoming, is wary of you and your fellow Tea Party freshmen. Is this something that you're feeling? And in your view, how can Republican leadership work to incorporate Tea Party senators and their ideals into the larger caucus? 
Uh, that's not something I'm feeling. I've, I felt very welcomed by Senator McConnell and uh, Senator Kyle and other members of the Senate leadership and the establishment there. Look, the, the Tea Party principles are in lockstep with the principles of the Republican Party. We stand for limited government. We stand for a recognition of the fact that uh, the federal government can't be all things to all people, and bad things happen when it tries to do so. And um, uh, those are very consistent with the principles of the Republican Party, and, and we can work together, we will work together. Like the House, do you see any kind of Tea Party caucus forming in the Senate? Perhaps you, Jim DeMint, and Rand Paul, and do you see Tea Partiers in any leadership positions? Well, certainly you'll have uh, uh, those of us who have been elected uh, with the support of people who identify with the Tea Party movement, including people like me and Rand Paul and Pat Toomey and Marco Rubio and Ron Johnson. Um, uh, th that by itself is something of a caucus. Now, what remains to be seen is what exactly will be the level of formality of such a caucus. Mitch McConnell is, of course, the Republican leader in the Senate. Do you support him and his efforts going forward in the next Congress? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. And to my knowledge, the entire conference uh, supports Senator McConnell as our leader. Last question real quickly. Fox News is reporting that Republicans are offering Senator-elect Joe Manchin, Democrat from West Virginia, his choice of committee assignments to switch parties and join the GOP caucus. What is your reaction to this report? I had not heard of that. Uh, my reaction to it is simply I'd be happy to welcome him into the fold, and I hope he joins us. All right, Senator-elect Mike Lee, congratulations again on your election. If folks want to find out more about the balanced budget amendment, where can they go? Uh, well, they can go to my website at www.mikelee2010.com. All right, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.